Wisdom. If you've got wisdom, you can impart wisdom. You can't give what you don't have. How are you going to give your children wisdom if you don't have it? You may say, well, they won't accept it. That, that's not your fault. Your job is to pass it on, but you can't give it if you don't have it. You won't have the gift of wisdom without the Holy Spirit. You won't have the Holy Spirit unless you're in a state of grace. Understanding. Gift of understanding. With the gift of understanding, we comprehend how we need to live as a follower of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now that's not immediately evident necessarily. You've got to have the Holy Spirit in order to have that gift of understanding. A person with understanding is not confused by all the conflicting messages in our confused and disoriented culture and about how to live. This gift of understanding has also been called common sense. The gift of understanding perfects a person's speculative reason in the apprehensions of truth. As St. Thomas Aquinas teaches, it is the gift whereby self-evident principles are known. No person with the gifts of the Holy Spirit could ever possibly rationalize or be confused about these crimes against humanity, such as abortion and others. You know, there's confusion because they don't have the Holy Spirit. Now, you know, so, sometimes people in my position are, are, are somewhat timid or afraid to say this, but, oh, you're judging. You know, they, 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 they use that. Oh, you're judging. Don't judge. It says in the Bible, judge not lest you be judged. You've got to know what it means. A better translation is condemn not lest you be condemned. You have to make judgments. You must make rational judgments. You must make moral judgments. I'm telling you, history will record that this generation was irrational and immoral because we were afraid to make rational judgments and moral judgments because of political correctness or whatever other malaise afflicts society. You must make rational judgments. My, my mother told me when I was a little boy, when you cross the street here, you've got to look to the left and to the right to make sure no traffic is coming. No traffic. You make a judgment, cross the street. Traffic, judgment, don't cross the street. That's a rational judgment. You've got to make moral judgments too. This is a specious argument. And there are a lot of them today. There's a, an attack on language among other things. But, but you've got to make moral judgments. How do you make moral judgments? In light of objective truth. Certain things, objectively speaking, are good or evil. Now, there are, there are people, including inside the Catholic Church, some theologians, who will argue against them. And they'll, they'll base everything on what's called situation ethics, which is a bankrupt kind of a position. Not right. There is objective good and evil. Some things are intrinsically evil. Always and everywhere they are evil and there is no justification based upon the subjective situation of the individual. Now subjective things can constitute mitigating circumstances. We know that in law and it's the same in moral theology. The habituated nature of an action, uh, mental incompetence, uh, immaturity, and so forth. Yeah, those can be certainly mitigating circumstances. Things like abortion, euthanasia, they are objectively, intrinsically, 
always and everywhere evil. And you can't justify them for any reason. Once you get away from that principle, it's a slippery slope. Believe me. What, but what's the remedy? It's very simple. The Holy Spirit. So that's understanding. Counsel. The gift of counsel. That, that's also been called right judgment. With the gift of counsel or right judgment, we know the difference between right and wrong. And we choose to do what is right. A person with right judgment avoids sin and lives out the values taught by Jesus Christ. The gift of truth, the gift of truth that allows the person to respond prudently and happily to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the gift of counsel or right judgment. 